Welcome back to Let's Play Grim Fandango. I remember somebody saying that they, oh. That's the town we're in. I remember somebody saying they didn't like the way I paused between Welcome Back and... Well, that's because secretly you're a robot and you have to actually load up what game we're playing. Oh. Welcome See, back to that. processing. I can go up there. I want to know what's over here, though. Fog. It's a lot of fog. <sighs> Tourists. <laughs> He's kind of well jaded at this point, <laughs> isn't he? Ah, another you one. You watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicabi, the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, hell, looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. I know you almost just drowned in everything, but bitch a new car later. I look, but yeah, look at that car, man. Oh man, he's a little cold. Yeah, gotta warm up a little. He's gonna be down there. We should probably follow him, I guess. Probably, when he's done getting down there and we're done warming up. Which is weird that we need to warm up because we're a skeleton, but then again... We're also in the land of the dead. Don't think about it too well, much. We can also talk. Stock with a few mods here and there. So would those be glass packs I'm hearing or turbos? Well, somebody knows his vehicles. Yeah. I'm so glad that Gladys found somebody that he can talk to. <laughs> a kindred spirit. I've always wanted one of those jackets. They look very comfortable for sea going. There was this one high-pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. <laughs> That's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog, or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? Are you folks gonna pitted. stay in the for a spell? We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks for a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> We are We're going to be the butt of a lot of jokes here. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, and uh, we were told we don't know how long it's going to be. Because we got here by secret tunnel and car. And she's walking. Mm-hmm. She has to go through the petrified forest. Yeah. Well, what do you need to ask him here? How do you get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea. By the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow! Manny, could I have an eye patch? Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Okay. Ow. Also, ew. I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> hey, Manny. We were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Alrighty. Well, time to get in that union. It shouldn't be too hard, right? I'm mean, here unions are pretty good. Yeah, something tells me this one may not be, though. But we'll find out. Not for a while, actually. We need more immediate work. We can't worry about applying to a union and taking care of all of that. We could be a professional cliff diver. We could. We seem pretty good at that. As long as we're here, let's take a look what's up here. It's like a little cafe. Oh, I like how back here you can actually see this used to be some kind of bridge. Yeah, it was just... To somewhere kind of wondering what that was. It's also walled off now, or fenced off. That's anything I can click on here? No, but I can go inside. 
Hey, that guy looks familiar. He looks really familiar. Maybe I can click on. Ooh, ketchup! Ooh. Let's talk to him first. I don't know. Let's talk to ketchup first. This guy looks familiar. Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? <laughs> I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. Well, so, I yeah, guess that's one way to use it. <laughs> so yeah, remember this guy from the intro? Man, he made it the year before us. Yeah, he made it this far. I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. Well, at, at the very least, we can now confirm she has not been here yet. That's good. So we just have to wait. Who are you looking for? Well, if you must know... It's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she too was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubacava, so I came here to wait for her. Well, it's kind of easier to say they all come here when it's the only way to get past it. Yeah. You must love her very much, also. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. Well, it's good to know he has his priorities straight. <laughs> I want my wife and money back. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny. If she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. Probably, but don't call me Shirley. Yeah, maybe, possibly, perhaps. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? Hey, we got something new to put in our jacket. Heck yeah. So, no a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Oh. Well, how about Can a job? Can you give me a job here? Have any skills? Sales? Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. <laughs> I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for her beloved Celso. That's kind of a cool little nickname. Wait, you didn't touch the condiments. Touch oh. the condiments. Oh, yeah, condiments. Why do we have condiments? I hate the, the way mustard dead? spouts get all crusted like that. Oh, I do, too. Just, just... I have bigger things on my mind right now than condiments. But there are else? condiments. Hey, a newspaper with coffee. Hmm. Maybe I should place a personal ad. I tried it, believe me. It attracts the wrong kind of women. Okay, anything in the back here? Yes. All these doors have numbers and pictures of food on them. What's number 22? Lengua. Wow. It's been a long time since I had a tongue. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I remember they used to have these in like the 40s and 50s, little cafes that you would go up and you'd hit the button and they just, you'd come out with the plate like that and mm. get your food like that. It was that weird kind of like, it's modern. It's like futuristic, but yet kind of only in that modern way. Yeah. Alright, well, we got a picture. That's a lady. It's Celso's wife. Actually, I don't think skin would help. <laughs> well, that was kind of rude. Rudy McRuder pants. Well, other than just standing around and waiting for her, I don't think we're going to find anything, but... Well, the captain seemed to the say he knew people very well, so... Yeah, the captain's pretty good, just not with names, so let's... Let's show him a picture. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two, and she wasn't alone. Well, you know she's it is death to a wee part, it. so... It's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. Man, that guy really knows his crap. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny! We were in He's the middle a of a conversation He's a ship's captain for God knows how long. I'm hey, pretty sure he'd hey, know a okay. lot of things. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? 
The SS La Mancha was her name, but don't make me talk about her, because I, I just can't do it. Well, go back to talking about your cars, old salt. Yeah, let's leave him to think about his boat. And let's go show Celso... The logs that proof ruin that his, his wife isn't around. Well, anymore. the logs that'll ruin his afterlife, I should yeah. say. Yeah, I should probably get him out. Velasco's logbook says Celso's wife took a bunk with a hunk. God, even rhymes on a dime. Damn it. <laughs> Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. If she passed after him, has it been two months since he's been it's here or there. what? Oh, Manny, is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Hey boss, you gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. She sounds like your type. Well, looks like a quiet night in old Rubacaba. Hey, there's somebody down. <gasps> so we've gone from janitor to running the joint in less than a year. Well, Apparently sales makes you very prepared for everything. Well, he did say while we were back in the DOD that he's a very competitive person and he wouldn't be happy until he was running the place when we talked about like a cruise ship. Hmm. So uh, I goes to Reese and he gets up a low-end job here. He's not happy until he's running the place. He's apparently done a number on it, too. It's doing quite well. It's even got employees other than himself. And he's got a snazzy suit. Could be worse. He could be captain of a ship. That would just be weird. Yeah. Okay, what can I click on around here? Anything? Am I just going... Oh, I can go this way. Hey, it's your office. You finally have desk drawers. I have an office. My wartime communications from Salvador. He's been sending me messages like this for the last year. Agent Calavera, I have word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news, as your service to the LSA may now continue. I am pleased to report the successful hatching of the eggs you liberated. The hatchlings, which Eva has named Manny and Meche, are quite healthy and eager to serve our cause. With luck, my next letter will be borne to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth. For the revolution, Salvador Limones. I'm not done reading it yet, but maybe later. Well, thank God for those self-reading letters that come <laughs> in people, the actual person's voice. Made a lot of things ah, to easier. Sleep. Perchance to have nightmares about spiders and beavers. That was a year ago, Manny. Get over it. What a weenie. <sighs> spiders. Actually, I feel like, um... I feel like that was actually a reference to something that Celso said that I didn't trigger. Oh. Yeah. Well, no, the spiders and beavers, yeah, that, that'd be that. Um, uh, something Celso said, if you talked to him, was just asking for, like, where are other places to sleep, where are other things to do. Um, you would eventually ask, A, can you sleep in the attic? And he would say, that's the boss's room. And you would ask if you could sleep, like, out back and... I think he said, like, if you sleep out back, then, like, the rats will be eating your toes by the time you wake up. But yeah, spiders and beavers, yeah, that's reference to that. It's over here. It's also a reference to what we did earlier. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. 
Oh, I'm just going back in here. Get back in there. <laughs> yeah, that was the way outside. I was kind of wondering why you were doing that. Oh, I didn't realize I came from that way. I thought yeah, I came in from there. because the door's that purple color. Yeah. Check out your desk, your fancy desk. I got a fancy desk, man. Ah, Lady Luck. <laughs> the fancy desk you use to cheat people. Little Noir Perry Monk, number two. Do is the winner. Your chips, monsieur. Merci beaucoup. This probably Mesdames won't come in handy ever. Fed vouchers, if you play. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. Le numéro gagnant, le 17, noir, un père et 17, black. Mesdames et messieurs, I like the way he actually talks play. in the French, French and, English. and English. Yeah, it's very... I want to say Morocco? Yeah, let's go with Morocco. It's very, like, White House-like, but mm. I don't know what the Spanish word for White House is, so you're going to have to forgive me. <laughs> Glados is running the piano. <laughs> Let's go see what's going on over here. I know Schwartz fault. This, no, this is our this is our assistant lady. That's Looks German like for Lupe's black been in the sugar again. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Mary. I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. Wow, she really is in the sugar a lot, isn't she? <laughs> Think she'll come in tonight? Manny, you ask me that every night. What am I supposed to say? You're supposed to say, yes, I think tonight's the night. Yes, I think tonight's the night. That you finally go nuts from waiting for the grand entrance of Ms. Mercedes Colomar. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Think she'll come in tonight? Yes, I think tonight's definitely the night. Thank you. It's my fault she's out in the woods alone, you know. <sighs> if you say so, Manny. <laughs> and I do like that despite that he's been here for a year despite that he's built up this massive thing for him in this time every single night he's actively waiting well she still has to come yeah, through here he's down at the casino probably enjoying his usual lucky streak how's the flow tonight we're dead tonight manny everybody's back home for the day of the dead i guess except for the casino the casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, you've got nothing to lose. Hey, you kind of we should put answered your own question <laughs> there. Also strange that this night again is the Day of the Dead, when our adventure first began on the Day of the Dead. One year on the nose. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about it? Well, I guess we got to ask about it eventually. Okay. Tell me all the details about your new code check system. Yay! Okay. <laughs> I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is I give one to everyone who checks a code in and... Manny, you're not even listening to me. I go to all this work organizing your coats and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. No, I want to hear. Oh, I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. Kind Please, of a callous one, tell me all about your new coat check system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. Okay, back to work. Okay. <laughs> You know, All right. I just realized that he actually took a diner and turned it into a casino. Yep. Well, there's still a, a diner. Well, it's just a much nicer one. Yeah, casinos tend to have places to eat, but it's not like a diner. It's you oui. expect. Wow. Hello, Manny. Hola. Did he just slide down the rail? He darn well did. Well, how's Glados doing after this I guess Glados is good at anything that uses keys. Quiet night, huh, Cardinal? Day of the dead ain't good for business, Chief. But last night, remember last night, Manny? Oh, wait! What's that you're playing? Oh, 
Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. <laughs> Sing a little bit of that song, why don't you? Well, I only have this part. Bone wagon. I like it. So romantic, <laughs> isn't it? I don't know if he's singing to the car or if he actually has a person in mind. It's the car. It's his special lady. <laughs> you think she'll come in tonight? Who? My special lady? No, Mitchie. You know what, Manny? I think she will. I got a feeling tonight's the night. You know, when we leave, I'm actually gonna miss this place. Ah, oh, Manny, why can't we just stay here? We got our fancy club, we got three squares a day. Max lets me take the bone wagon out on his kitty track once a week. Plus, we look good in these clothes. Gladys, I can't live in this world forever. It's not where I belong. I've gotta find Mitchie and gotta take over because for if it weren't for me, leaves. she'd have been on that train a year I ago. I don't know. Okay, Manny. Well, I'll let you get back to practicing. I don't need to practice, man. I'm good. Maybe the coat check lady. Well, she seems to be the only other employee here that's not Manny or Glados, so... There is one other guy. No, no, no. I think he was downstairs in the gambling hall. Which is back there, I believe. Hold up, no. Hold up. What's over here? Seems to be the kitchen, isn't it? Or the bar. Oh, no. This takes you back to the... Yeah, there goes the casino back there, and this is just the dining area ah, with the bar. Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Nothing but the best for my customers. My rich customers. Yeah, I about to say, they better be rich <laughs> to get something with gold flakes in it. Can he, like, use the money that he gets from this to pay, to get a ticket to... Like, I, to help pay off? Yes, I don't think that's I how it works. take this with me, for safekeeping. Yay, we got drinks. Let's drink it. Okay, let's put that away and see what's in back. Oh my god, a casino. Who would have thought? Ah. All right, well, you know, there's, uh, there's going to be an adventure back here, I'm sure, because there's a lot of people. We'll go and save this for next time. We've still got to go talk to that lady. Is that a French officer? Yes. Ah. What is... What is Spanish for White House? I keep thinking it's based off of something I've seen, but I just remember White House. Nah, it'll, it'll come to me later. Alright, until next time, everyone. Got a couple people to talk to here. And we got a special lady to go see.